He is known for being a Norse explorer who founded the first European settlement in Greenland. He is recognized for earning the epithet, the red, due to the color of his hair and beard. His name is Eric the Red. In the annals of Norse exploration, one name stands out as a pioneer of uncharted territories and a founder of European settlements in far-flung lands. Erik Thorvaldsen, better known as Erik the Red, was a Norse explorer who left an indelible mark on the history of Greenland. Born in the Jaren district of Rogaland, Norway, Erik the Red inherited his adventurous spirit from his father, Thorvald Asvaldsson. It is said that Erik earned his epithet, the Red, due to the fiery color of his hair and beard. Driven by a thirst for discovery, Erik the Red embarked on a remarkable journey that would change the course of history. According to Icelandic sagas, he set sail from Norway in search of new lands to explore and settle. His travels eventually brought him to the rugged and untamed landscapes of Greenland. In the late 10th century, Erik the Red established the first European settlement in Greenland, known as Brattle. This outpost, nestled along the country's western coast, became a thriving community and a testament to Erik's leadership and resilience. Despite the harsh conditions and isolation, the settlers managed to cultivate the land, raise livestock, and trade with neighboring indigenous peoples. Eric the Red's exploration and establishment of settlements in Greenland had a profound impact on the world. It opened up new trade routes, expanded Norse influence, and paved the way for further exploration of the North Atlantic region. His legacy also extended to his son, Leif Eriksson, who would go on to become a renowned Icelandic explorer and is believed to have been the first European to set foot on North American soil. Today, Eric the Red's pioneering spirit and his contributions to the exploration of Greenland continue to inspire adventurers and historians alike. His legacy serves as a testament to the human spirit of curiosity and the unyielding determination to push the boundaries of what is known. After settling in Hokkador, Greenland, Eric married Gile Joran's daughter, a woman of noble lineage. Together, they established a prosperous farm called Erkstair. Their union brought forth four children, a daughter named Freydis, and three sons, the renowned explorer Leif Eriksson, Thorvald, and Thorstein. Eric, deeply rooted in Norse paganism, held steadfast to his beliefs, even as his wife embraced Christianity. Gilde's devotion to the new faith was so strong that she played a significant role in commissioning Greenland's first church. This stark contrast in religious beliefs caused tension between the couple, leading to Gild withholding intimacy from Eric. Despite this strain, their marriage endured, and they continued to raise their children in the rugged beauty of Greenland. As Eric embarked on his expeditions to explore uncharted lands, his wife and children remained a constant source of support and stability. Though their religious differences created a divide, their familial bond remained strong, and their love for one another transcended their disagreements. Through the trials and triumphs of their personal lives, Eric and Gild navigated the challenges of marriage and parenthood, leaving a lasting legacy for their descendants. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.